the Hikvision Video Intercom Station. Here we are. Or just the intercom to simplify, but Hikvisions. Awarded by the Red Dot in 2017. Here you can see the mark right on the box for the Red Dot. I believe you can see, we'll zoom it out then. So it's pretty unique, unique design. And we got it on our table now. So in my opinion, uh, the security devices we have on the market can be and should be good looking because why not and Hikvisions especially and I mean they should be good looking regardless of their consumer focus or the business focus doesn't matter but anyway this one and this one are really standing out of the crowd from the similar devices so I want to show you the thing in sight I'm Daniel from the People System Store breaking in Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. And as mentioned, there is a two variations of this model: DS-KH8350-TE1 and WTE1. And the difference between them is simultaneously slight and significant. The W in product name stands for the Wi-Fi, and after this detail, everything gets clear. The real way of this product's utilization looks like this. You have a camera within the RTCP protocol sustain or a Hikvision call panel. Or both or multiple, doesn't matter. You activate the camera or a call panel on the PC with the CADP tool and the IBMAS software. After what, you simply tie it up in the system with these intercoms, which you hang on indoor near to your entrance door adjoining wall. What? Hikvision are not the masters of the R-type box design, and they don't have to be. But to be honest, this time, this thing looks way better. Now let's open this thing up. So what I can tell, a black suede upholstery around the device. Because CCTV manufacturers often don't care about the looks, and I understand them. This is a B2B market, you need the device, the box is not even a secondary thing. But this time, with this thing, they surpassed themselves. So, the box contents are a few guides. Here we can see the installation guide. Guide, right, it's quite useful thing. Next is the video intercom device user, quick user guide, start guide, yeah, right. And what else? We have the, yeah, network indoor station, quick start guide. This is the user guide, yeah, about the functions, not the things. And this is the start guide. All right, the thing we're in here for today. This is a device itself, round, you can see that black suede, what I was talking about. But this thing is just glorious. I mean, really, it stands out from all of the similar devices. Let's peel this off reveal the screen this is actually a button this is a touch screen it's made on the Linux OS which is cool here we are there's a few inputs yeah this is actually the main input this is the this is the LEN oh I really hope you see this out there well and this is gonna be for a battery I don't know we'll figure it out uh, then all right this goes here uh, there we have a few screws and a duples Sure, a can sure a contact unit. Well, sure, we it, it's been done like like this. Give me a second, please. I'm not that. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, we're done. Yeah. So you know, here are the definitions. Here are the definitions. So you all can know and sure you can find this thing here in the guides. And this is a metal unit. Well, you know, this is a uh, wall holder because we're gonna hang this thing on the wall. So take this. Take this, screw it up in here, hang it somewhere on the wall. Just imagine oh. this is a wall, yeah, right? Let it be. And then this goes up, and we're pretty much done. And now, as I'm gonna tell you, a this device specifications here, you will see a Hikvision installation guide. So, what this thing's intention and what is it capable of? Well, it supports all the cameras that run the RTCP protocol, Hikvision call panels, alarm sensors, and different extensions to be tied up with. Here's a scene for your information. Now, it means that you can tie up this intercom with just about everything, well, from the equation, of course, in a great quantities. What the equation wants us to pay attention to is the aircraft-grade aluminum used to build the body. 
For us, that means a high strength, good tolerance, stress resistance, and anti-strip and corrosion features, which is awesome. This is a uh, 1024 by 600 touchscreen and this classy key button. We have eight alarm inputs in here, PoE type power transmission, damper, SD card slot, microphone, loudspeaker, RS, i485 protocol support and let's go through now the interface and settings mm -hmm. and now's the main button so what you can see here the settings yeah here all the configurations all the settings and also i wanted to mention this is a linux os well remade by hackvision of course but i don't know how about you but i see the iphone team over here I mean, this toggles, even this toggles, come on. It's gray that change with the changes with the green. Come on, Hikvision, this is the apple. But anyways, this looks good. Now, ringtone. Yeah, of course we can pick a ringtone. We have a speaker in here. Yeah, all right, I'm staying on the classic one. Yeah, the ring duration, 30 seconds, call forwarding. And a volume adjustment. Yeah, you, you see, everything is 70%. Now, the touch sounds, which, well, turns on the annoying sounds whenever anyone touches it. So I would rather recommend to turn it on the auto answer and do not disturb device notes. Next is the Wi-Fi connection. I'll connect my in life right now on you, where the people. Oh, <laughs> look at this. This is an iPad keyboard. I mean, it is, God damn it! even the same symbols, even the same buttons, come on, heck vision. I mean, you better just take the Android, but not the Apple. All right, come on, man. So, I'm typing in, come on, my password. The touch screen here is pretty, pretty good, pretty great. And connected, yeah. And well, a few more settings. Here, uh, there are a few basic configurations. Hit Connect service settings, of course, you can connect a Hit Connect here as you can access from your uh, computer, from your phone, from your tablet, and that's what's awesome about this thing. You will get, you will like, be instantly notified when something happens on your phone, both with this thing, with this intercom. Uh, of course, you can do a TF card here, clear a screen, uh, see a device information, configure a time, yeah, I got everything wrong today is a 2019 your boot device system language and the brightness adjustments and this is an important button preparing is here you can toggle up the call elevator which is pretty awesome and turn on the alarms which is great too if you have the sensors now we're pretty much done with it and by the way this is a cool device though it looks like an apple team and now it's the connection and configuration part as you can see i it's running i got the here the ip camera and now what i want to do i want to tie up this intercom with this ip camera and like similar devices like the digital beep holes the doorbells call panels the video recorders well any stuff uh that sustains the ip protocol network protocol to connect Right, so both of the intercom and the camera have the PoE feature support. You know what this means. It means power over the internet cable. So I got the standard LAN cable Cat5 here connected, and that's why it is on. And I got the LAN cable connected to the IP camera. This is a classic one. I'm sure you've seen it a lot of times. So we're just taking the classic ones because I want to show you how simple it is. And what I want to show you here Live view, and here, network camera. We can view it from here. So after I push this button, I want here to be the live image from the camera. And we're gonna do this right now in front of you uh, by the CDP tool, as you can download from the Hikvision official download pages. It's the tool to uh, see all the devices connected to your subnet, well, within your subnet. And also connect this intercom and then tie them up within themselves. Let's go. And now the first thing we're gonna do to open the CADP tool, if, well, if installed, yeah, because if no, you're gonna go to the uh, Hikvision official download page, you just type in Google, I wanna download the IVMS software and get it to your computer. Now. Here we're gonna search for the device within our subnet. 
as I got the IP camera DS2CD connected through the LAN POE cable feature. Well, after CADP started, it initializes. <laughs> Press this button as many times as we need to, <laughs> well, to see our device. So refreshing a lot and here we go. Next thing you do, you see it's inactive. Our task number one now is to activate this thing. So we check here, uh, looking for this tab over here on the right, creating a password. Yeah, any password you wish, but just be sure to be confident to remind it. I know mine, I'm enabling a hit connect, believe me, you need this thing to do. Verification code, well, it could be the same as your password was, so to me it's all right. Yeah, confirm and activate. That's what we do now. Activation succeeded, hit connect. Now, secret questions. Well, you can't go further without this stage. Well, I don't care about this one right now. I'm not sure if you do, but anyways, anyways, confirming as you see one through three anyway. And yeah, we are ready. So refreshing and you see the device is active. Next thing we're gonna do, remind this IP address right here and the port. Now, what we do next? We go to the IV mass because we've done everything we could with the CADP, we've activated the device. And now we gotta tie it up in the system with the IV mass and then configure it manually by hands. And that's what we do because the intelligent video system, uh, 40, 42 and 00 is the vision software, number one software to activate the devices and to configure it. Actually, if you follow my lead, nothing really difficult. Except the time. But if you run in better PC, yeah, I think it will be faster. <coughs> well, anyways, it always takes time with this IVMS software. As the camera active, you gotta switch this tab, so don't close it. Here, you can see our camera is right here. What we do, we just press it and drag here. Yeah, nickname, I mean, any that you want, I'll make it a cam one. Address, you see this address, checking. Yeah, that's the same, port, uh, 8,000 right now, yeah. The username default is the admin and the password, well, remember that one that you typed in when you activated the device? Well, here it is. There we go, adding, waiting a few seconds, and you see importing succeeded. And now you can even view the camera from here. Where you are? Maybe just, oh, there you go. Hey, Val, how are you doing? Hey, guys, that's me. <laughs> well, as you can see, my camera guy is just playing games while he's record in the video. <laughs> well, anyways, I love it. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, we've added the camera. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add the intercom. To make that happen, uh, press the add, make the uh, nickname, well, it will be the intercom, address, well, you gotta get to the settings inside, well, inside of the intercom, exact, get into the configuration tab, inside of the settings tab, uh, get in, get into the network settings, and see, right now, I got a this. IP address. It's like exact, almost, almost the same as the IP camera has, but it's 106 and here I got 107 in the end. And there we go. Word is 8000, username is admin, and the password, well, the same when you were activating the device. So now we are adding 
wait in a few seconds and let's see oh failed to receive idea data from the device right I've seen this stuff but let's go again let's try this one now it actually was an eight thousands and the password Ah, oh, it's correct. It's correct. Come on. Uh, Hundred and two hundred sixty-eight zero dot hundred and seven. Modify. Actually, should be good. I don't know why is it not working. Come on, man. Get it stuff. Yeah. It seems that I've <laughs> typed the wrong password. Anyways, what we're gonna do now after we added every software to the IVMS and tied it within our computer, what we do next, uh, see the indoor station device that I named the intercom. We press the remote configuration button, go into the intercom settings and go into the IP camera information. And there we go, just pressing the add device device name cam1 IP address is uh, remember this one in our subnet port 554 is important admin and the password is the same that you've activated okay there we go and now Well, I cannot show you right now, but we can now live view the camera from the intercom itself. And this is how it happens. Yep. There you can see is the camera that I want to show you and it happens with the intercom but it doesn't seem that I can view it from here but I can view everything from here so now I just want to show you the live view option uh, yeah I'll get into the main screen I, I hope you see this live view uh, cameras and there we go mm, pressing and I got the light from this camera here. Hey Val again. Yeah, probably <laughs> this she will off. <laughs> and this is how it happens. The similar stuff happens with the all the devices, all the extensions, all the cameras, recorders, other indoor stations, modules, doesn't matter. But if it is a heck vision, everything will be connected to this intercom. And it's actually a really powerful thing. Now let's sum this up. So the connection scheme allows us to use this intercom device in a variety of ways. The system you will create can be such a unique, perfectly fitting your needs with this variety of possibilities. And that is great, along with a classy look like this and great interface design, you have here a solid, modern and reliable device that we can definitely recommend to everyone. We will start selling this pretty soon in the people system store so come over and specify that you get there from youtube to get a special offer thank you for being with us today safety to you with the people systems it's our main goal here